Welcome to Language Lesson 89. Today we are going to be taking Quiz 9, but before we do, let's do some review of what we have learned so far. So first off, I want us to review future tense. Now, who remembers the word that we put in front of the verb in order to make it future? Do you remember that word? Did you say will? If you did, that is correct. When we put the word will in front of the verb, that makes it in the future. So can you replace the verb here to make a future tense verb or verb phrase? Okay, hopefully you said something like will go or will make. Will is the word that makes the verb show the future tense. So it has to have that word will in order to make it future. Now, take a look at these sentences and remembering the word that makes it future, I want you to read the sentence out loud and fill in the blank with a future tense verb. Here's the first one. Did you say tomorrow? I will make my bed. If you didn't, that's okay. As long as you said tomorrow, I will something your bed or my bed. Okay, what about this one? On my next birthday, I will open my presents. Hopefully you said something with will in front of the verb. Last one. Next summer, my family will travel. Hopefully you said something with the word will in front of it. Great job reviewing our future tense verbs. Remember, in order to make it future, we put the word will in front of it. Now that we've reviewed that, let's go over some helping and irregular verbs. We've been going over groups of verbs that are irregular and how they change in present, past, and future, or present, past, and helping. They need a helping verb. So let's take a look at these verbs. Can you read what's in our first column in our present tense? Now, what do you notice about each of these verbs? If you said they're all happening right now, you are correct. So now that we know that they're all happening right now, they're present tense verbs, let's put them in a sentence. Emma takes a break. Mrs. Lopez gives a quiz. Dad drives. You ride. Now, can you read the column that is entitled past, the words in, underneath it? Now, what do you notice about these verbs? Did you say that these verbs have already happened? If you did, that's correct. So if we were to put them with our sentences, we can say, Emma took a break. Mrs. Lopez gave a quiz. Dad drove, you rode. Now read the words here in the helping column. So we already understand that these verbs are going to need a helping verb. So let's put them in a sentence using a helping verb. Emma has taken a break. Mrs. Lopez had given us a quiz. Dad has driven. You have ridden. All of those needed a helping verb to sound better in the sentence. Let's do a quick review of all of our helping verbs. Go ahead and repeat the helping verbs after me. Am, is, was, has, have, were, are, had. Great job, friends. Now, I want you to take out your language book and open up to page 99 and begin practicing what we have just learned in our helping and irregular verbs. But don't forget, you also have language quiz nine to take on Google Classroom.
happy studying.